This 3D UTAP Wells video will present an understanding of the resistivity response in a thin bed formation. The following will be demonstrated. Loading a LOSP data file, plotting log files, using the Earth Model Builder to detect bed boundaries, using it to populate a property, simulate a resistivity response based on the earth model, matching a simulated log to a field log using an earth model generated blocky log, and estimating the water saturation using the earth model resistivity before and after refining it. With the well log interpreter open, Click on the Load Log File icon, which will open the Import Logs window. Click on the Load Last File icon. Choose the Carbonate Thin Bed Last File. Note here the interval that will be loaded is around 5,000 feet to 550 feet. Click on Import. To help eliminate resistivity shoulder bed effects at the top and the bottom of the curves, the modeling area will be extended to 50 feet above and 50 feet below the bed boundaries. Therefore, the modeling area will be set the top at 4,950 feet and the bottom at 5,100 feet. The focus area for this example will be the top at 4,900 feet and the bottom at 5,150 feet. In track two, the track editor can be opened by doing a double left click anywhere within the track. The all bed boundaries is a default and this will be kept. Click on the add log icon. The type will be the last score file, the set, the carbonate last file, file that was loaded, and the display will be the ECGR curve. This curve will be used to estimate the petrophysical boundaries. The limits will be 0 to 50, and the color will be green. To plot the resistivity logs, Click on Add a new track, which can be done by using the pull down menu at the top of the track editor. For the resistivity logs, set it to the logarithmic scale using three decades. To add a new log from the last file, the deep resistivity log the RT90 field data log will be loaded. Color red. Adding petrophysical boundaries may be accomplished by two methods. One is by adding them by hand as demonstrated here. This at times is the preferred method. A rule of thumb is to put as few number of boundaries to begin with and add as necessary. Another method is to use the earth model using a log curve as the model to add the boundaries. The second method will be used for this demonstration. Therefore, the ones added by hand will be deleted using the delete boundaries icon. Clicking on the Detect Boundaries icon will open the Detect Boundaries module within the Earth Model Builder. This left panel shows all the logs that were loaded. For this example, the ECGR log will be used for the boundary detection. The highlighted ECGR log 
will be added to the logs to detect panel. In the bed boundary filter, the sliding window size is set to 0 0.25 feet, which has been found to to find most, if not all, the boundaries for this example. It would be instructional to try different values above and below one to see the number of boundaries that are added. If the curve had noise associated with it, the noise threshold could be used to filter out some of it. In the populate properties module of the Earth Model Builder, an Earth Model Resistivity Curve or Blocky Log will be generated. In the Resistivity Parallel or Homogeneous Row under Zone 1 column, use the pull-down menu to add the RT90 curve. Click on Populate Properties. To prevent the resetting of this log back to the initial values after adjustments are made, use the pull-down menu to enter select or click the Reset Master Curves In Track 3, open the Track Editor, add a log Type Earth Model, Property Resistivity, Zone Formation. To see the curve better, increase the width. The Earth Model Resistivity Curve is generated from the RT90 log, in this case by estimating the maximum or minimum values of the log, or by an average if there is no maximum or minimum within the layer. Add another track to plot the water saturation. Type Earth Model. Property Total Interconnected Water Saturation and Formation Zone. Limits set to 1 to 0. The color blue. A numeric log may be added to give another perspective. Presently, the curve is flat. The next step will calculate the water saturation from the blocky log that was generated in the populate properties. To calculate water saturation, use the petrophysical calculator within the Earth Model Builder. Only water saturation needs to be calculated, therefore the bulk nuclear properties will be unchecked. Check Archies and similar and change the calculation type to water saturation from resistivities. Click on Calculate. The line in track 4 will now reflect the initial water saturation values. A simulated resistivity log will now be calculated that will be used to match the field resistivity log. Click on the Resistivity Logging Simulation icon, Omega. Choose the AIT tool, Simulation Variant 2D Schlumberger. AIT tool options, AITH. Click Simulate. A terminal opens and the simulation is run. Open the track editor for track 3. Click on the Add Log icon. 
type simulated log. Set AIT Schlumberger. Curve RT90. Style dash. Color red. Note that the simulated log, for the most part, is separated from the field data log. The Earth model resistivity curve or blocky log will be used to match the simulated log to the field data log. It may be helpful to expand the curve and do it this in sections. Move the blocky log in the direction that is needed to match the simulated log to the field log. Since the layers are thin, they may have an influence on the measured resistivity by reducing or smoothing out the measurement. To get a better idea of the true value, we need to rely on the Earth model resistivity value, which is used to calculate the water saturation. Adjustment of the bed boundaries may be necessary. Use the up or down arrow icon and place the double arrow over the boundary to move it in the direction needed. Continue on until the simulated log gives the best match to the field log. This adjustment process has been sped up to present this result of the simulated log matching the field log. Once the best fit is accomplished, use the petrophysical calculator again to recalculate the water saturation. Be sure water saturation from resistivities is chosen. Note the changes in the water saturation values. This is the end of this video. Thank you for your time.